is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host, Tunde Show. I'm back with another reaction. And uh, today we're a little late to the party. <laughs> That's an actual uh, YouTube channel, by the way, late to the party. They're, they're pretty dope. I watch them too. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, I was saying uh marvel studios drops the official mcu phase four trailer so it has a bunch of different movies with their dates slated like eternals which i'm super uh excited about especially since kevin feige kind of hinted that it could potentially win an academy award like and that's exciting and like marvel just doesn't do that they don't do that it's a superhero type of movie but i feel like the story is epic and I just feel like what they're bringing to the table, especially with the, um, uh, I believe, Gemma Chan, the um, the director that just won a an Academy Award, for, you know, for her uh, her her picture that she uh, Nomadland, just so happens to be the same director. So we have star quality. I'm sure Marvel's happy about that. Anyways, that's just speaking of Eternals. It's also Black Panther, which the title is Wakanda Forever. Okay, and more. So we'll check it out right now. And uh, here we go. I love being with people. It's the most incredible thing oh, in the world. world. What are you doing? Oh, this is nice. That world may change and evolve. Oh, man. But the one thing that will never change, we're all part of one big family. I wonder when they filmed this. I mean, when he recorded this. Oh, everything, the whole journey. Marvel is amazing. <laughs> Get lost in the That story. man next to you, he's your brother. We're one man. That woman over there, he's she's your brother. sister. Sorry, Higher, further, that. faster, baby. That's right. Part of one universe. Yeah, baby. Wakanda forever! Moves ever yeah. upward and onward to greater glory. Rest in peace, Stan Lee, man. You're a genius. Woo! On your left. On your left. I was there. Not this one exactly, but I was there opening night. And I felt it with the crowd, baby. Listen to this. Nobody can do this but Marvel. I lost it like a freaking little kid, bro. I'm 35 years old, y'all. I freaking had a flashback of my childhood. There's got to be more. Okay, it's good. There's a minute left. Let it out. Release that. Release it's not a good thing. But I'm done running from my past. We have unfinished business. Who's we? Come on, let it go. Release it tomorrow, yo. What are you waiting for? July 9th. Okay. <laughs> Two months from now. Like, why? I don't know. Marvel really wants that money for this. Thank you. Come on. September 3rd, baby. Something. The Eternals, this is going to be, I'm anticipating this more than anything. Wow. You're going to see young Thanos probably. Wow. Oh, her love and thunder. Wow. But they're killing it! Guys, you gotta see. Oh, they did it. They did it, y'all. Fantastic four. They didn't put a date, though. They didn't put a date, though. But that's gonna round it all out. I feel like Fantastic Four, like, because we have Kang the Conqueror now, you know, that's the big bad, and he fought mostly with the Fantastic Four. I feel like we won't really see the most major part of... of um, Kang the Conqueror, okay, until uh, Fantastic Four, which we don't even have a date yet. 
Oh, shit. PhD back there on how I localize it. <laughs> I got stuff going on in the background. It's commercial. I didn't even, I didn't even turn it off. But, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, uh, oh, anyways. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Back to New Rock what stars I, uh, oh, my God. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. No, no, uh, the director for Nomadland. I just want to make sure. Oh, no. no I said Gemma Chan. Sorry. Chloe Zhao. I said it. I, I apologize for that. I knew I said the wrong thing, but I couldn't remember at the time. And um, that's really messed up considering that um, we don't have that many Asian Americans. You know, they're probably the least used in the whole industry, even less than African Americans. So um, I apologize for getting your name wrong. Her name is Chloe Zhao. She's a brilliant director. She's killing it. And she's bringing the pain for Eternals. Anyways, yeah, that reaction was dope. I mean, not reaction. That 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 trailer was dope. You tell me if the reaction was dope or not. But I loved it, man. I'm excited. Like it's the build up. Marvel knows what they're doing. Like no one else can do what they're doing. I know they look at it in envy. Like they're like, wow. Every single thing that they just dropped has been perfect. None of them have failed. None of them have failed. DC, pay attention. By the way, DC dropped a, a, uh, a trailer for Justice League recently. I don't know who's running that place, but I think that whoever that is is trying to self-destruct. They want to die. They want WB. WB has fallen off before, too, in the past. Like, way, 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 way back in the day, if you look in history. Okay? I think they're trying to do a repeat. <laughs> they're, trying to, they're trying to end their... They're literally taunting and putting a middle finger up at all the fans by releasing that bullshit-ass trailer... Instead of restoring the Snyderverse, which is what would everyone would line their pockets, like literally, come on. Now it's just a, it's just like a petty fucking battle between the studios and the people who actually the studios expect to pay money for for this for this content. Like you actually expect the studio, you the studio expects the consumers, the regular people, me and you, comic fans, whatever, to pay for this shit. But then they're like saying, fuck you. They're literally, they're literally throwing middle fingers at you saying, fuck you. You'll never get it. Like, literally, that's what they're doing. I, and I'm like laughing. Did you see that YouTube trailer? It's still up. I'm surprised it's still up. It's literally about to be the most disliked video on earth. On earth. Seriously. So, I mean, hopefully they come to their senses because I've officially, at first I was, I was like, okay, you know, DC is not their fault because, you know, um, they're being... Uh, a run by Warner Media, Warner Brothers. They're driving into the ground, destroying DC Comics. DC Comics, the writing on its own is great. It's, it's dope. I've always loved it. If they just had the comic book people run it, just like they have Marvel, Marvel runs everything as far as like the the uh, the story. Like it's their whole team. The same people that work on the uh, that write, that, that work on the comics. They're all part of it, putting in their 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 two cents. And they have someone like Kevin Feige who knows who actually is a real fan. Whereas in in, in WB, those people don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't even care about the actors. They don't care about the actors. They don't care about nobody. You know what I'm saying? With the Ray Fisher issue, they try to blow blow it off like it's nothing. I was like, I'm so embarrassed for this company, man. Like, I'm so embarrassed for, the, for this company. Like, they're making the dumbest mistakes ever, and they really think we're just going to show up. I can't wait till Flash comes and fucking bombs. That shit's going to bomb. It's going to bomb, man. I just, I just feel like it's going to bomb. I can feel it in my bones. It's going to bomb like shit. And these people, they think that we're, they're going to still come out of this somehow. Anyway, let me just stop and just focus on the point, which is this Marvel trailer, and get out of DC, and the crap that's going on over there and focus on enlightenment and peace. You know what I'm saying? We're here with DC where we get, I mean, we're here with Marvel where we get shit done. <laughs> so forgive me for that flub. But yeah, thank you guys for joining for the reaction. Um, I'm looking forward to all these movies coming out, especially Wakanda Forever. We have the title. You know what I'm saying? So, man. And I feel like I feel like in Wakanda Forever, they're really going to just use that movie to... Um, to honor the legacy of the Black Panther mantle. I feel like I feel like it'll probably be something along the lines of like battling for who gets to be the new king. Okay. I by no means think it's uh, Michael B. Jordan. So all the people thinking it's Michael B. Jordan, it will never happen. It will never happen. Just story-wise, just think about it. That's how they will end up being like DC if they do that shit. It will never happen. Okay, well, now he, he could potentially come back as Killmonger, but he will never be Black Panther. I feel like the best. I feel like the best thing he could do is to make Shuri the sister of Black Panther, because right now, you know what I mean. We're always we're always advocating for women being in the limelight, and I think it's time to give it to her. And she's the sister, you know. So it's the closest connection you can have. 
You know what I mean? And it's been like that in the comics too. It's a mantle that people, multiple people wear. So you don't need to recast another Chadwick Boseman. You can just do um, uh, another uh, movie with another person wearing the mantle of Black Panther, just like, you know, Captain America, you know? It's not just one Captain America, it's by the mantle, you know? So yeah, I hope uh, this all works out. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching this. I appreciate you. Like, subscribe if you wish. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just keep coming back and watching this content. And um, it's all good by me, you know what I mean? Anyways, I love you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more, man. I'm out.